Stormy Daniels on Zoom. Welcome back to the show. Hi, Hi Stormy. Hi, how, how are you? How are you going? Hi, guys. How are you? Yeah, we are well. We, we are, are great. Good God. Oh, a lot of must, shit going must on be right now. crazy <laughs> in your world right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's an understatement. Oh, my God. Now, we've what? had you on the show before, and you were very sweet in explaining a few bits and pieces, the spanking and all that sort of stuff that went on, which we, had, uh, we enjoyed hearing about. But I asked some of the staff here this morning, and I know because I live half the year in America, so I know all my American friends know every every inch, every detail. Every, they've done a pubic hair count. They know everything about the encounter. But here in Australia, we know, oh, she was the one that said the president's dick looked like a mushroom, and that's about as far as, <laughs> that's about as, far as their knowledge went. So, Stormy, right. j- just for a reset for the Australian market, you met Trump at some golf tournament and you didn't know who he was. It was just some old creepy billionaire. You didn't know. Oh, no, no, I know who he was. Oh, oh. I knew him from his reality television show and from cameos he'd made in movies like Home Alone. Right, okay. So how, um, did, how did you go from meeting him on the golf course to getting your gear off up in the hotel room? How, how, did, that, how did that transpire? Um, <laughs> Uh, let's see. So I met him on the golf course and then he came by the gift room that the celebrities came through to take photographs and get their swag bags. Yeah. Um, and we got a photo together and he asked me to dinner. Actually, he didn't ask me to dinner. He had his bodyguard ask me to dinner and I politely declined. Uh, and then they kept asking. Um, oh, and how so embarrassing. Agreed. So he kept sending the guy back, you know, oh, go back and ask again, go back. And you finally, yeah. did you finally admit to him? You went to dinner eventually, right? Well, no, I never got dinner. So I was supposed to go to a different dinner that I wanted to get out of going. So I decided to accept his offer. So he invited me to meet him at his hotel. Yeah. And then we were going to go down to one of the restaurants in the hotel. And, uh, and I got to his room and I was a little bit early and he wasn't ready yet. Uh, and so we started talking, and we never actually made it to dinner. What do you we mean he stayed- wasn't ready yet? What, what was he wearing? Was he in undies and a robe or half He was in dress? pajamas. Pajamas? He was in pajamas. <laughs> uh, satin, like silky pajamas. And I made fun of him and told him that he looked like Hugh Hefner. Yeah, he would have liked uh, that, right? He would have thought that was sexy talk. I don't know. I was pretty mean. Uh, really? So he went and changed and came back out, and we started talking. And it wasn't until very recently that I realized one of these big misconceptions, why people are just uh, refusing to believe that I was invited to dinner uh, Mm. or that I did not go there for sex. Well, why did you go to a guy's hotel room? Why were you? You should have known that's what it was about. You're lying. I realized that when most people think of hotel room, they think of a room that you walk in and there's a bed and two nightstands and like your average hotel room. Yeah, standard room. But he wouldn't be in a standard room. It'd at least be in a mega suite, right? Uh, it was the size of a really big apartment. It had a formal dining area, a, a living room, a kitchen, yeah. a big foyer. Yeah. So we went in, we sat at the table um, and started talking. And that's when, you know, we had a very interesting conversation for a few hours. A few hours. And that's where the spanking, yeah, that's where the spanking thing came about, which was not sexual at all. Mm, and when he started really? <laughs> Yeah, and, you know, as, as much as it pains me to say that the conversation was actually intelligent and I was having a good time, it's true. Like, he we were, he was asking me business questions so about he, the adult. So industry. he is, he wasn't being a predator. He was, you, it was an enjoyable um, intellectual conversation. You, you, were, you were tantalized by the conversation. Yeah, it was, um, like I said, he, he asked about royalties in, in the adult business. Oh, that's right, because uh, you, you were the porn actress. That, that That's well known, right? right? Right. And he asked about, do we have a union? Do we have health care? Uh, asked about, you know, the things that go into producing and directing an adult film. Did he ask uh, how much would it be for you to do sexual things to him? Did he actually... Absolutely he did. Mm-mm. He did no, not. He did not. Okay. Right. Well, that's that's no, a gentleman. Absolutely not. He did not imply. He didn't insinuate. He didn't ask. He didn't flirt. Uh, so how did, oh, how, really? did you, how did you end up uh, bumping uglies? What, what that's, that's the big thing that like people are like, oh, you had to have known. No, it was a conversation about business. He was talking about you know some things on his golf course and and environmentalists giving him a hard time. And at no point in this entire conversation was sex mentioned at all, other than like specifics of on camera like how we did things in the oh, business and so how'd you see his um, dick then how'd you see that exactly that's that's what is so strange about this 
during that conversation, he said that he thought I would be a great contestant on Celebrity Apprentice and it would shake things up. And, yeah. and, and a lot of people didn't believe that until I did the Piers Morgan interview a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, when Piers said, well, he revealed that he did know that I was supposed to be on the show because Trump had messaged him and told him. So he sort of validated that. Yeah. Anyway, a couple of hours go by and I have to use the ladies room. So he goes, you know, go into the big bathroom. It's nicer, you know. So I went in there to use the restroom. And when I came out, he had taken off most of his clothes and was on the bed. And oh. that's why I was so surprised. <laughs> I, was, I was stunned because... What were you wearing? Were you clothed and he came out? Yeah, she was clothed, he obviously. Was, she wasn't what, expecting he's him to He's laying on the naked. bed like some sort of like buffet breakfast at, the, at a Sheraton or something? Is it, was he presenting That's himself? really disturbing. I'm never having a buffet breakfast again. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of orange, so I guess it was like a breakfast buffet. Yeah. Um, doing his best uh, Burt Reynolds impression. And did you think, um, yeah, this guy, I'm going to have sex with him.